today I'm going to do a super short book review of one of my favorite and most recommended books, Healing Trauma by Peter Levine. Now, I love this book for many reasons, but one of the big ones is the size. So take a look at this. Now, this is a nice, concise book. You compare that to his other book, Waking the Tiger, uh, Bessel van der Kolk's The Body Keeps the Score, and uh, Shapiro's Getting Past Your Past. And these books all have a lot of great information, but they're dense and they're heavy and they're hard to get through. So I love to recommend this book, Healing Trauma, because it's short and efficient. The short nature of this book makes it more likely that my clients will read it if I recommend it to them. The other thing I really like about this book is how it explains trauma in such a simple way. How stress and fear get trapped in the body. And being such a clear explanation, it opens up the way to healing in a powerful and body-based approach to recovery. So Peter Levine defines trauma as something that happens to us faster than we can process it. He says, we become traumatized when our ability to respond to a perceived threat is in some way overwhelmed. He makes it clear that it's not the severity of the trauma that causes a traumatic response. Two people in the same car crash may have completely different responses to that incident. One being shaken but fine, and the other getting trapped in cycles of anxiety. And one reason for this is our ability to process or move through the stages of our body's reactions to a dangerous event. So Peter Levine is the pioneer of somatic experiencing, which is an approach to treating trauma through the body. So this is a research-backed approach that can be very effective at helping people release the trauma symptoms that are impacting them in the present. He describes how our brain has these ancient survival responses that are very effective at keeping us alive. The fight, flight, and freeze response. And then he explains how our body has this natural, innate ability to recover from these reactions when the danger is past. And it does this by discharging that stored energy. He shares an example of a polar bear who is tranquilized, and he's helpless to stop the researchers who examine it, tag it, and everything. And while the bear has experienced a traumatic event, after the researchers leave, he begins to shake violently. This is his body's natural response to, to burn off that excess adrenaline that surged through his body when he was trapped. And it, it releases that freeze response, and the bear walks off with no residual effects from the experience. See how he's breathing in now? So that even though it looks a little unpleasant, it's not a convulsion like that. In fact, it lets off all that stress, and, and he then is able to relax and, and uh, sleep the thing off. Now, we humans, on the other hand, we often interfere with our body's innate wisdom to move through and process traumatic events by avoiding them, avoiding thinking about them and, and trying not to feel sad or not knowing what to do with our bodily response. And we stifle that recovery response. Th this is often because we lack the resources to work through the intensity of the emotions that come with a traumatic event. So from this body-based approach, Dr. Levine describes the common symptoms of trapped trauma and a straightforward approach to resolving them. Because the trauma response is very much a, a physiological reaction, an important approach to healing trauma is working through the body to create that healing. So the other thing I absolutely love about this book is how it includes 12 simple body-based exercises to reconnect your body's inherent healing wisdom. So the exercises are written down in the second half of this book, but it also comes with a CD, so you can listen to those exercises as well. An example of this is a grounding activity that he has you do. So you start by grounding by doing simple activities like tapping your hand, touching your hand, and saying, this is my hand. 
and you tap the other hand and you touch the other hand and you get to feel it and you say, this is my hand. And then you move through your entire body and reconnect with your body and your ownership of your body. Now that's a very simple example. There's obviously a lot more um, exercises than that, but he moves you through this gradual progression of reconnecting with your body's innate wisdom to tap in to that innate healing response that we have inside of us. And he helps, I, I think he helps his clients work through the, the trauma that's trapped in their body. So I am not getting any money from recommending this book. I just wanted to share with you all this resource because my mission is to help make therapeutic resources more easily accessible to everyone. So have you ever experienced that physiological response to a perceived danger? If so, where did you notice it? What was it like in your body? Please comment below. I'd like to see what you have to say. If you found this video helpful, please share it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching and take care.